Senior Night, where we honor the winningest senior class in the history of GAC Lacrosse. Number one, Solomon Elijah Raphael Thomas, son of Milton and Lynette. He's a midfielder and he's played lacrosse for four years at GAC and he's going to be attending Kennesaw State University. His favorite scripture passage is Psalms 23. And his favorite lacrosse memories are going to the final four in his junior year. Solomon said, I would like to thank all my coaches for the opportunity to play and their dedication to making us better men. Coach Ball comments, Solomon has been a faithful and dedicated teammate since coming out freshman year. He has continued to put in the hard work to improve his game, never complains, and does everything in his power to do what the coaches ask of him. Congratulations, Solomon. Number two, Cannon Kuypers, son of Derek and Tracy. Midfielder, and he's played lacrosse for eight years. Cannon will be attending Auburn University. His favorite scripture passage is Matthew 28, 19 to 20. His favorite lacrosse memories are going to the final four last year. Cannon says he'd like to thank his parents for always pushing me to be the best player I can be and I want to thank my coaches for helping me to get to where I am today. Coach Ball says, Cannon has been a tremendous asset to our team the past two years. His shifty feet and quick moves are exciting to watch, and it will be very difficult finding someone to replace his dodging abilities next year. Congratulations, Cannon. Luke Hart, son of Brett and Diane. He's a midfielder, and he too has played lacrosse for eight years. He'll be attending Florida State in the fall. His favorite scripture passage is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. His favorite lacrosse memories are last year when we beat Buford 21 to 6 to win our area for the first time in program history. He thanks the coaches. I would like to thank all my coaches for their hard work and commitment to our program. Coach Squires, thank you for joining our program with great passion and new offensive sets that took our offense to the next level. Coach Dixon, thank you for your calmness while managing the sideline and substitutions during games to ensure that we always have the right players on the field. Coach Ratliff, thank you for bringing expertise and intensity during practice and games that has pushed us to become a state championship caliber team. Coach Ball, thank you for always putting players first and for shaping us in the men of great character and faith. I would also like to thank my parents for providing me with the opportunity to attend GAC and for always encouraging me to do my best on and off lacrosse field. Coach Ball comments, Luke has continued to improve each year and has steadily become more and more an integral part of the team. His overhand shot, when given time and room, is as good as, good as we have. Congratulations, Luke. Next up, Barto Morgan son of Barto and Leslie. He's an attackman and has played lacrosse for four years at GAC. He'll be attending Hampton City College. His favorite passage of scripture is Isaiah 40, 31. Favorite lacrosse memories, forming a premier sideline celebration squad and going to the final four last year. I want to thank my parents for always supporting me. I want to thank the coaches for the life lessons they've taught me. Coach Paul comments, Barto has demonstrated faithful determination time and time again and has been solid in getting our team ready for the next game. The highlight of his career was last year when he had seven points versus Central Foresight, scoring two goals and dishing out five assists. Next up, Bryce Gamble, son of Corey and Sabrina. It's a face-off midi and has played lacrosse for four years at GAC. He will be attending Mercer in the fall. His favorite scripture passage is Corinthians 16, 13 to 14. And his favorite lacrosse memories are making the final four last year. 
Next up, Jonathan Rose, sin, son of Jim and Mary. He's a midfielder and he's played four years of high school lacrosse. He'll be attending the University of Utah last, next year. His favorite passage is 2 Thessalonians 3.10. Favorite lacrosse memories? Making it to the final four last year. I would like to thank my parents for everything they do for me and all the sacrifices they have made. I would also like to thank my coaches for always pouring into me and making me the person I am today. Coach Ball comments, Johnny has been an amazing captain, barking out encouragement to the players and then following it up by leaving everything on the field. He is our emotional catalyst. Brooks Buse, son of Doug and Christy Buse. He's an attackman. He's played lacrosse for six years. He will be attending the University of Georgia. Favorite scripture, Proverbs 27, 17. His favorite lacrosse memories are Coach Ball's April Fool joke last year when we were supposed to play Macintosh the day we got off for spring break. Coach made us get on the bus, we pulled out of the school. Everyone was mad because we didn't want to play and he yelled April Fools and pulled back into the school. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for always being there for me and always being my number one fan. I'd like to thank all the coaches for helping me improve my lacrosse skills and also for shaping me into the man I am today. Coach Ball comments, Brooks high heat is something most goalies are tempted to get out of the way of. He has been so consistent on the step down shot from the right wing every year and it will be something that will be difficult to replace. Next up, Daniel Kennedy, son of Cliff and Laura. He's a midfielder and has played lacrosse for six years. He'll be attending Kennesaw State University. Favorite scripture is Jeremiah 29-11. Favorite lacrosse memories? Track days. Thanks to my mom and dad for their support through high school. Coach's comments, D DK has been steadily improving every year and has implemented himself as a top midfield line this season. It has been not only his improvement on offense, but also his tremendous improvement on the defense that has allowed us to be in every game we've played this season. Next up, Davis O'Brien, son of Mark and Leah. He's a defender and has played lacrosse for seven years, and he'll be attending Samford University in the fall. Favorite passage, Proverbs 17, 17. Favorite lacrosse memories, becoming an Atworth junior police officer in the QT parking lot. I would like to thank my parents for the countless hours they've spent driving and watching all of my games these last four years. I'd like to thank Coach Ball for investing so much time in all of us and instilling great qualities to mold us into better men. Coach Ball comments, Davis has been a mainstay on defense all four years of his career and has been one of the primary reasons our defense has consistently improved each year. This is apparent in his one-on-one -on -one matchups and stick skills, but also in the way he attracts all of our defense in covering their responsibilities. Next up, Bo Powell, son of Dorothy and R.O. Powell. He's an attackman and has played lacrosse for seven years. Next year, he too will be attending the University of Utah, playing lacrosse there. Favorite passage scripture is Corinthians 16, 13. Favorite lacrosse memories, final four run last season. I would like to personally thank my parents for always believing and supporting me throughout my lacrosse career. I would also like to thank all the lacrosse coaches for not only making me a better lacrosse player, but also a better man. Lastly, I would like to thank all my teammates, specifically in the class of 2017, that have made this high school lacrosse experience over the past four years so amazing. Coach Paul comments, Bo has one of the best sniper shots we've ever had. His lacrosse IQ helps direct our offense on fast breaks as well as settled and unsettled situations. Bo is one of those special players that not only contributes to the offense, but he also makes all the players around him better. Next up, Jordan Arona, son of Audrey and Tony Arona. He's an attackman and has played in lacrosse for six years. He will be attending the University of Alabama. His favorite scripture patches is Jeremiah 29-11. Favorite lacrosse memories, Coach Ball's April Fool's joke, and I-95 North. I personally want to thank my coaches over the past years playing across here at GSC. 
not only for teaching me the game, but also making me the man I am today. I also want to thank my friends and family for always supporting me and giving me the amazing opportunity to play the great sport of lacrosse. Coach's comment, Jordan is a special player, the way he directs the ball, feeding it to the backside and also finishing goals off on an assist. He's one of those players that loves to see his teammates succeed and does all he can to help them get there. Next up, Connor Granger, son of Murray and Suzanne. He's a defenseman and has played GAC lacrosse for four years, and he will be attending the University of Georgia in the fall. His favorite scripture passage is Matthew 5.13. Favorite lacrosse memories winning our first playoff game against St. Pius sophomore year. I want to say thank you to my parents for being there for me my whole life and giving me the opportunity to come to GAC and excel as a student and an athlete. Also, a big thank you to Coach Ball. You've been an amazing mentor for me in high school and taught me so much more than only how to be a better lacrosse player, but more importantly, how to be a better man. Coach's comments, Connor is our lacrosse player, keeps our morale up. Whether he's playing LSM, close defender, or man down, his play is consistent. He never complains, and Connor is constantly positive with his teammates. Next up, Keaton Nicholson, son of Joel and Leanne Nicholson. He's an attackman and has played lacrosse for four years at GAC. He will be attending Georgia Tech in the fall. His favorite passage scripture is Corinthians 1.25. Favorite lacrosse memories, forming a premier sideline celebration squad. Thank you to my parents who have always guided me through life and have been there for me. Thank you also to Coach Ball, Ratliff, and Squires for showing us how to lead and pushing us to be our best. Coach's comments, Keaton has always been faithful and had a consistent career here. Always positive, never complaining, consistent practice. He makes us all better. Because of his demeanor, determination, and respect, Keaton has an amazing future. And finally, Reed Smith, son of Lee and Ron Smith. He's an LSM and has played GAC lacrosse for six years. He'll be attending Georgia College and State University. His favorite scripture passage is Proverbs 27:17. Favorite lacrosse memories, beating St. Pius for GAC's first ever playoff win in 2014. Thank you to my parents for supporting me in everything I do and pushing me to be my best. Thank you to my coaches for molding me into a better person and a man of God. Coach's comments, Reed has been our player who creates the most havoc for opposing teams. He is physical and relentless, makes other players think twice when he is guarding them. And finally, to all the seniors from Coach Ball, it has been an honor and a privilege to have worked alongside each and every one of you. Throughout this year, you have had adversity and yet you have kept this team together, helping them believe because of the way you demonstrate that belief. Use this as you move forward. It is not a matter of if, but a matter of when trials and adversity come your way. And when they do, reach back and learn from your experiences to push through. I am very proud of each and every one of you, and I know that the Lord has great things in store for you. But for now, we have a season to finish and a goal to accomplish. So let's be about it. Have that never say die attitude. Not only that, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that sufferings produce perseverance, perseverance character, character hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. Ladies and gentlemen, the senior class of 2017.